good morning to all in the last class we discussed the chapter air and water and today let's move on to the exercise now you all can take page number 96 in your textbook and let's start with the first one take the correct option to complete each sentence so here you have five questions with two options each so you have to tick the right option so first question plants and animals need air to live drink so you can tick the correct option second one fast moving air is cold wind breeze the third one we cannot see water air fourth one air occupies space no space fifth one we get water from the sea rivers let's see the answers so what is the answer for the first one plants and animals need air to live plants and animals need air for living so the answer is live second one fast moving air is called it is called wind gently moving air is called breeze see the third one we cannot see we cannot see air we can see water but we cannot see air so the answer is air the fourth one air occupies space no space so we have learned the properties of air right so air occupies space so what is the answer the answer is space see the fifth one we get water from the sea rivers what is the answer we get water from rivers now let's move on to the second exercise tick the things that do not need water so following pictures are given here and you need to tick the things that do not need water so see the first one it's a picture of a man then the second one tree the third one what is it it's a picture of a bat so in this three things which one do not need water that is bat why because it is a non living thing and it does not need water so you can tick in that option see the next one hen pencil dog so which one do not need water that is pencil hen dog they both are living they both are living things and they need water so it is pencil so you can tick pencil see the next three aeroplane bird ball so which one do not need water it is ball it is a non living thing so which all things do not need water bat pencil ball all these three are non living things and they do not need water moving to the next one higher order thinking skills so there are two questions let's discuss the answers so see the first one why do new plants grow in the rainy season see the answer new plants grow in the rainy season as there is plenty of water for the roots to absorb so during rainy season so the rainy season is a season when it rains so during se rainy season there is plenty of water and the roots of a plant can absorb it we know that plants need water so you can write down the answer in the space given there see the second one why do plants dry in summer so summer it is a time when it is very hot see the answer plants dry in summer as the amount of water in the soil is less so during summer season it is very hot and the amount of water which is present in the soil is very less so that is the reason why plants dry in summer moving to the next one value based question water is precious look at the pictures explain 
if water is being wasted. So here you can see three different pictures. If you closely observe these three pictures, you'll find that in all these three situations, water is being wasted. So see the first one. Here this little girl is using a hose pipe to wash the cycle and she is wasting water. See the second one. The tap is not closed properly. That is why the water is flowing, which means water is being wasted. What about the third picture? You can see this boy brushing his teeth and you can see the water is flowing. Again, the water is being wasted. So water is very precious and you should use water very, very carefully. The next one is activity on. Here you can see a picture. You have to color the picture and you have to name the season. So this is an activity for you. You can do it by yourself. Once you are done, you can submit to Microsoft Teams. Moving to the next one, that is worksheet, unit 4. So let's answer the following questions. So let's start with the first one. So you have 8 questions given here. So let's discuss the answers and you can write down in the space given here. See the first question. What do you see in the sky during the day? See the answer. We see the sun in the sky during the day. So what do you see? You see the sun. The second one, do you see the sun at night? At night, the sky looks dark, right? See the answer? No, we do not see the sun at night. The third one, when do you see the stars in the sky? We see the stars in the sky at night. So when do you see the stars? At night. Fourth one, is sun a star? Yes, sun is a star which produces light and heat. The next one, do stars give out light and heat? Yes, stars give out light and heat. See the sixth one, do we see the moon during the daytime on some days? Yes, we see the moon during the daytime on some days. The seventh one, does the earth move all the time? Yes, the earth spins all the time. It spins like a top all the time. Eighth one, where does the sun go during the night? At night, we cannot see the sun. The sky looks dark. So the question here is, where does the sun go during the night? See the answer? The sun stays in the sky, but as the earth moves, we cannot see it. So is the sun going anywhere? No. The sun is in the same position. As the earth is moving, we cannot see the sun. The next one, fill in the blanks. So see the first one. Air is all dash us, but we cannot see it. Air is all around us, but we cannot see it. So the answer is around. The second one, moving air is called, it is called wind. Third one, when air moves gently, it is called. So gently moving air, what do we call? We call it breeze. Fourth one, the air occupies, the air occupies space. Fifth one, dash things need air to live. Living things. Non-living things do not need air to live. But living things need air to live. Sixth one. Air is used to fly dash and sail dash. It is used to fly kites and sail boats. Next one. All plants and animals need dash and dash to live. All plants and animals need air and water to live. The eighth one, we get water from dash, rivers, dash and wells. So we get water from lakes, rivers, ponds and wells. See the ninth one, water is used to put out dash. 
It is used to put out fire. See the tenth one. We should not dash water. We should not waste water. So the answer is waste. Moving to the next one. Model test paper 2. So following questions are here. So let's discuss the questions and answers. So see the first one. Take the correct answer to complete the following sentences. So you have five questions with two options and you can tick the right answer. So see the question. It rains in winter rainy season. So in which season it rains? It rains in rainy season. So the answer is rainy season. The second one. We feel hot in summer winter. During which season do we feel hot? We feel hot during summer. What about in winter? We feel cold. So what is the answer? The answer is the first one that is summer. The third one, fish live in water soil. So where do fish live? They live in water. The fourth one, stars are far away from us, close to us. So what is the answer? The stars are very far away from us. That is why they look small. The fifth one, air occupies space, no space. So what is the answer? It occupies space. Moving to the second one, match the following. Air. So you have to match it with C. That is everywhere. Air is everywhere. The second one, the sun. You have to match with letter D. That is is a star. So sun is a star. The third one, summer. I have to match with letter A. Summer, wear coat and clothes. Fourth one, water. Water, I have to match with letter E. We need water to drink. Fifth one, zebra crossing. I have to match with letter B, which means to cross the road safely. Let's see the next one. Fill in the blanks. See the first one. Summer, rainy and dash are three seasons. Summer, rainy and winter. These are the three different seasons. The second one. We feel cold in the dash season. During which season we feel cold? That is during winter season. See the third one. The sky looks dash during the day. The sky looks blue during the day. Fourth one, stars look dash because they are far away. They look small. So what is the answer? The answer is small. The fifth one, we get water from rivers, lakes and wells. So these are the different sources from which we get water. See the next one. Tick the true statements and cross the false ones. We see many stars at night. What is the answer? The answer is true. You can tick it. You can tick this statement. We see many stars at night. We see the sun during the day. What is the answer? Again it is true. The answer is right. The sun gives us light and heat and we see sun during the day. The third one, all living things need air to live. What is the answer? The answer is true. All living things need air to live. Fourth one, the sun is the biggest star. So what is the answer? The answer is false. Sun is a star but it is not the biggest star. Fifth one, the side of the earth that faces the sun has day. So what is the answer? The answer is true. Moving to the next one, answer the following questions. So there are five questions. Let's discuss the answers and you can write down in the space given there. How many seasons are there? How many seasons are there? There are three seasons and which are they? Summer, rainy and winter. The second one, what is the shape of the moon? So what is the shape of the moon? The moon is round in shape. 
The third one, why do stars look very small? The stars look very small because they are far away from the earth. Why does it look small? Because it is far away. Fourth one, what is moving air called? Moving air is called wind. The fifth one, do plants grow in water? Yes, some plants grow in water. For example, lotus. It is an example for the plant that grows in water. So, we are done with the chapter number 14 and we have completed grade 1 general science. I hope you all have understood the topics that we have discussed till now. Wishing a great year. Thank you.